Hello! Welcome back to Mads and Sab. I'm Sab. Mads is in other videos. Go check her out if you haven't. I'm very sorry that I completely butchered your name. I think it's Kaya, Kaya Ross, Kaya Rossi, Kaya Rose. So sorry, thank you for the comment though. Commented and requested that we do a video about dorm, the cost of FAU dorm, housing, all that kind of stuff. I'm also gonna go into meal plans and then some helpful my opinions on everything having been here for a year. So thank you so much for commenting that, it really means a lot. Love to answer your questions. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment. We'll make a video for them too. All right, let's get into it. So first, Kayla mentioned that she will be starting this summer. So I'm gonna go into summer plans first and I looked all this up, figured out all the information for you. So you don't have to. So for first year students, Glades Park Tower is going to be open for this summer and then for returning students Innovation Village Apartments is going to be open. I know Kayla said that she's a first-time student though, so she would be living in Glades. Let me move over here Do you like my flowers? This is the breakdown for Glades Park Towers for this summer This is the layout for the double suite super double and then the single. Now, I don't know anyone that lives in Glades because usually that was not for this year, for fall, which is when I started living on campus, that was an upperclassman dorm. But I know that it has a nice living room and it has no kitchen. It does have laundry and it has that kind of stuff. For returning students for summer is Innovation Village Apartments. These are the costs for that. And for summer, each one of those is going to depend on the term that you start in. So make sure you take a look at that. So for fall to spring semester, next semester, these are the prices for Glades. This is the prices for Glades and Heritage. So Glades, I do know people that live in Glades and they have a hall. I know people that live in the double. They have a hall, they have one bathroom, the sink is outside the bathroom, and then they have two rooms that have two people inside of each of them. Pretty spacey, it's nice. Heritage South is located close to the dining hall. Heritage North is a little farther, but that, those buildings are connected. These are the costs for Indian River. Again, I don't know anyone that lives there, but I do know that they have a living room area that a lot of the other freshman dorms do not have, And but you're allowed to apply for these as a freshman. And then Parliament, which is where I live. These are the costs for Parliament, and there are doubles and singles in Parliament. If you do a double, this is what it looks like. If you do a single, this is what it looks like. Some of the things for first year students, it has some volleyball courts. I see a lot of people playing on those. Parliament has a computer lab. Glades, not sure. Heritage does not. Multi-purpose rooms and study rooms. And community kitchen usually, but was not able to use any of those this year. And all, all housing at FAU has free laundry, which is so nice and they're eat in every building. A meal plan is required for all of these. Since you don't have a kitchen in your room, any hall that you don't have a kitchen in your room, you have to have a meal plan. For returning students, I'm gonna go through this really fast because I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you're not a returning student. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think so. But these are the costs in case you can't find them. So this is the cost for Indian River Towers. And you can stay in a regular dorm if you want to the second year but a lot of people choose to upgrade to a larger space or they want a kitchen so that's why they're saying for returning students only they can do these innovation village apartments i learned that the south innovation village is the one that is connected to the pool and it has the gym both are connected to the pool but i think south is closer this does have a kitchen inside the unit so you don't need a meal plan and then University Village Apartments, these are the costs. The kitchen are in the unit for this one, so you don't need a meal plan either. And then this is the new residence hall that they're literally building right now, and they say it's gonna be open in the fall. So these are the costs for that. This one I know does not have a kitchen, so you will need a meal plan, but it is right next to the dining hall, like literally 10, 10 steps from the dining hall. And all the dorms and everything have a community kitchen on the floor if they don't have a kitchen in the unit. 
we weren't allowed to use that this year, but I'm sure that we'll be able to use it next year. Let me give my opinions on some of these buildings. Heritage, I know people that live in Heritage, they really like it. It's not the not one of the newer buildings, so it is a little old, but it's right next to the dining hall. Probably a five minute walk, which is very, very nice. Does not have a computer lab or study rooms or a gym or anything in there though. Don't know anything about Glades. I know that they have a really nice living room area. You can take virtual tours on the FAU website. Indian River, also know nothing about. Parliament, that's where I live. This is the newest building, so it's really nice. A lot more parking than the other buildings. Definitely is a farther walk though. I would say 10 to 15 minutes to walk to the dining hall, to Starbucks, to anything like that. That I didn't really phase me and it doesn't seem like that long a walk when you're actually here. So if you don't mind that, I really like it. It has a computer lab, which is really nice because I'll like put in my laundry and then right next to the laundry is the computer lab. And so I'll do my homework go back in da -da 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 -da, so I'm going up and down I like that gym would be nice if it was open so I'm assuming that'll be good for next year the walk is the thing I would say is probably like the disadvantage of living in Parliament is that it's pretty far from a lot of things parking is hard when you are in Glades or Heritage to park close or Indian River because those are all in the same area since Parliament's a little farther off the parking is much easier and by the way, for parking, you just buy a parking permit each semester. I think it's like $10. They should send you a link when you get in and then you can just buy a parking permit and it'll last for the whole semester. So you don't get a ticket. IVA is where I'm trying to live next year. Hopefully I'll get that. I've looked into it, it has a gym. It's a lot cheaper. Well, it's not a lot cheaper, but it's definitely cheaper than what I'm paying right now just because of meal plan, since I don't need one. Obviously that money will go into food, but it'll be less than what I'm paying currently. That is one of the, that is the newer building. The North and South IVA are the newer buildings. UVA is University Village Apartments. Those are the older ones. Those have stairs inside. They have only four people. So, and they have a kitchenette inside also, but those ones are a little bit more rundown and the other ones are newer. I don't really know a lot about the new residence hall because they just sent out the informational email about it. I just know that it doesn't have a kitchen, so that's why I didn't want to opt for that next year. I hope that covered everything about dorms. Let me tell you a little bit about dorm life, maybe. You need um, to swipe your card to get into every building. I can't get into Heritage because I don't live in Heritage, so I can't go in there. Right now we can't go in there anyways. Normally you would be able to, so hopefully that lifts next year, but normally you would be able to go hang out with your friends, but someone would have to let you in in that situation. Computer lab is open 24 seven. They have the mail center that delivers right here. You get an email notification when you have a package and then you can go pick it up if you have your owl card on you. That's all I can think of. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns about dorms and FAU dorming, leave it in the comments and I will respond. All right, let's talk about meal plan and then some of my opinions, some regular old information. Let's go. This is the information on meal plans, the cost, how many mini meals you get, all that kind of fun stuff. Let's talk through it, shall we? All right, first on the list, 19 meals per week 19 meals per week that is a ton i would say only get that if you are like bulking like you're a bodybuilder because zero like no way that i would ever come near using that many swipes flex bucks let's talk about that flex bucks are what you get with most of these meal plans and we'll go through them and we'll talk about how many you get with each Flex bucks come with your meal plan and they do not roll over to the next semester. So if I have $10 left in my flex bucks for the meal plan, then that is then that $10 at the end of the semester gets donated to the school. I don't get it. Does not roll over to the next semester. So those, if you have them, use them. Get your money's worth out of them. Owl bucks are something that you can add later. So let's say I got the 19 meal plans, and but I wanna use owl bucks. Those you can add onto your card later and those do roll over to the next semester. Those you can add on the Get app, which I'll talk about more later. What are flex bucks, you may ask? 
I shall tell you. Flexbox you can use at any of the restaurants on campus, including Outtakes, which is like the small convenience store that's located in the breezeway. So you can use them at Starbucks, you can use them at Einstein's, Subway, Pollo Tropical, Panda Express, Burger King, hopefully those will be open next semester, but theoretically, I could have used them there <laughs> if they were open. So the second one that is 1,846, 0.50 cents. 15 meals a week with 100 flex bucks. 100 flex bucks goes by pretty fast. You definitely have to manage that out because I have a lot of friends that had 100 flex bucks and then they were like, this is so much. And then by the end of the first two weeks, they were like, oh my God, I need to stop going to Starbucks. I have no flex bucks left. So 15, quite a bit also. I know that that does average out to lunch and dinner don't think you're gonna go don't know if it's worth it if it's worth it to you go for it for me was not 12 meals a week and 100 flex bucks this one is really great for a lot of people I have a lot of friends who have this one also this one is seems to be just the right amount that you don't waste all your swipes but you still also have flex bucks so that one is also the cheapest so if you don't want to pay for extra flex bucks then go for it, do that. Seven meals a week and then the 550 flex is what I have. The thought process behind doing this at the beginning of the semester was that I have an older brother. So my parents have already dealt with the meal plans at a different school. And they realized very quickly that the swipes don't really get used as often. And they ended up sending my brother money to buy other things on campus anyways. So they were like, you know what, we're gonna just pay for this. You can use this, you can go to Starbucks, you can go to Chick-fil-A, you can go to whatever, and we won't send you any other money for that. I said, wonderful, great. This one is definitely more expensive, so you can a thousand percent do the one that's 12 meals, 100 flex bucks, and be completely fine. But that is the one I have and I really like it. I don't end up using all my swipes every week just because you get tired, You, I buy little snacks, you wake up late, you don't end up getting breakfast, you just go straight to lunch. I have my internship, I'm there, so I end up getting something else. It's just, and I try to make stuff in here sometimes because I don't like or, or I don't love what they have in the dining hall, it doesn't fill me, or it's just, I'm not feeling it. Sometimes I do that. But if you don't have the luxury of doing that, I think 12 and 100 flex bucks is definitely a really, really great option. To find out I figured this out like a few weeks in the semester. So to find out how many swipes you have left, how much flex bucks you have left, to add owl bucks, you can go to the Get app. And I went to Student Union to the Owl Card Center and they gave me my code because when you try to log in this app, it's going to ask you for a code. And then I was like, what the heck is that? But my friend did just call the Owl Card Center and you can do that too. So you can either go to the Owl Card Center at the student union right next to the dining hall, or you can call them and ask and then you can log in there and then you can log in, your parents can log in, you can see how many swipes you have if they wanna send you Owl Bucks, anything like that, that's where you can do it. Also to figure out what is on the menu, you can go to the Dine on Campus app. I never do this, I just look up every day FAU dining hall menu. But if I were to do this, that would be a good idea, but I have not, so. Because I refuse to learn. All right, my opinion on the dining hall. Maybe that'll influence what kind of meal plan you wanna get. So first, they always have a full salad bar and they always have pizza, burgers, fries, pasta. Every day, no matter what, they will have that. And that is nice. And I really like going in there to get salads because not a lot of restaurants on campus have a ton of healthy options. So that's something that the dining hall is really great for always having a salad bar. For the regular station, they have the cookery, I think it's called. That one switches out all the time. And the pure, which is like vegan, vegetarian, that one switches out all the time. And both of those, you can usually find something good. I wouldn't say I'm a picky eater. I just, I would say everything is pretty average and sometimes goes a little above average and those days are nice and I like those days. So I think dining hall is really good for breakfast 
very simple. You can also always get breakfast, like you can always get a bagel, you can always get cereal at the dessert station. So that's nice, very easy. You can always get a salad, you can always get fries, very safe food. And I go there once a day usually. If you think you will not go through 550 Flexbucks, also get the 12 meals because I had a friend that also got the 550 had like $300 left at the end of the semester and that doesn't come back so she switched to the 12 meals because that was, was the most ex least expensive because she never ended up going to Starbucks or going anywhere else to use her flex bucks. Me on the other hand, I because I have that many, I go to Starbucks every day because why the heck not? So those are, those are the options. Living on campus overview. I really like living on campus. It's very pretty. We have a lot of greenery, a lot of animals running around like raccoons and <laughs> but they're cute. They just have babies and um, duckies and a lot of iguanas, tons of iguanas, especially if you're over by where Parliament is, where that big like river is, tons of iguanas. It's safe. I feel safe walking around. And those are all my opinions and information about dining hall and also about dorms. So thank you so much, Kyle Rose Ross, sorry. Thank you so much, Kyle Ross, for your comment. Much appreciated. If you have any other comments like that, any comments not like that, leave them down below. If you have any questions, leave them down below. We'll give you a fun little answer. Follow us on Instagram. We post there quite a bit. And if you would subscribe, that would be sick. Great times we have here. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Adios. <laughs>